Welcome to Northwest Aerospace News Live. I am Jennifer Ferrero, a writer for the magazine and your host. In today's episode, we are talking with Al French, Spokane County Commissioner. He has been in the role for 12 years and can be seen at regional aerospace and manufacturing trade groups keeping tabs on current events. Let's welcome today's guest, Al French. Welcome, Al. Well, hi, and uh, welcome from Spokane, Washington, and uh, looking forward to the show. Al, it's great to see you. In today's episode, we look forward to learning more about Spokane County and the role of the county commissioner in the commercial aerospace and manufacturing industries. But first, I'd like to know a bit about your past. I see that you were an architect for 21 years with your own firm. Tell us about the types of projects that you took on. Well, yeah, a little bit more background. I'm a Marine Corps veteran uh, and I went to the University of Idaho for a degree in architecture and a minor in business finance. I've owned my own architecture, real estate company, construction company, and uh, I do uh, own my own uh, development and architecture company, uh, specializing initially in retail architecture. Uh, I was uh, the architect for enclosing uh, Northtown Mall, which is a major regional shopping center here in town. Uh, took second in the nation for design award because of that work. And uh, then now I do uh, uh, predominantly medical office and uh, multifamily and, and uh, commercial work. So I still practice architecture and uh, uh, got to keep my day job going in case this political thing uh, gives it up. Well, what led you to apply to be a county commissioner and what was your early understanding of the role and your involvement? So I uh, started my civic career as a neighborhood activist and uh, then uh, moved to the Planning Commission, then Spokane City Council. I was term limited off after two terms and uh, uh, decided that uh, the state wanted me to run for state legislature. I liked local politics, so I ran for county commissioner, unseated the incumbent, and just won my fourth term in office. So uh, I love the, the the local interaction and the ability to uh, make things happen uh, and, and uh, see the results of our community moving forward. So that's what gets me excited and gets me up every day. Well, thank you for serving, Al. We do appreciate that. And it's great that you are working here for us on a local level in our community. Well, after 12 years as a county commissioner, how have things changed and where have you seen the greatest impact? So when I first joined the county, it was right after the 2008, 2009 uh, real estate meltdown and the county was in financial straits. Uh, uh, the reserves had been exhausted and, and expenses were outpacing uh, revenue and stuff. So uh, over the last uh, several years, we've uh, got the county now financially sound. Uh, we, we went from a, a credit rating uh, that was very low to uh, the highest credit rating a county of our size can have. And uh, uh, we have uh, grown uh, about a third uh, in the last uh, 20 years, uh, but the size of county government has not grown. Uh, we just became more efficient and more effective, and we can deliver more services to the taxpayer at a lower cost. So that's, you know, uh, and it's positioned us in a great uh, way to be able to be attractive to people that want, are looking to relocate from Southern California or the uh, Southwest and, uh, or even for that matter, the other side of the state. Uh, Spokane's a great place to uh, not only live, but also to uh, uh, operate a business. So we're very excited about that. Now, Al, just as a refresher, how many county commissioners are there? How many people do you serve with? Uh, well, up until uh, this year, there were three county commissioners, and uh, the county is about 550,000. Uh, we just went to five commissioners uh, here in January 1. So this is a new form of government. Uh, we'll see how, it, how, uh, how we adjust to this uh, new structure, but uh, we're now five commissioners. So, Al, what is one of the biggest challenges facing Spokane County's aerospace and manufacturing businesses, and how can you help? Well, the, we, uh, prior to uh, COVID, we were working with four international uh, plane manufacturers to uh, come to Spokane and uh, uh, very excited about uh, the prospect of being able to attract a manufacturer here to this community. As, as you might know, uh, we've got about 130 tier one, two, and three 
um, uh, supply chain manufacturers already here in Spokane. I think we're the fifth largest aerospace cluster in the country. So we are in great shape to be able to accommodate a manufacturer here. And then COVID hit and everybody kind of went underground. So we're now starting those conversations back up. And so we're very excited that people still have an interest in uh, coming to Spokane County. And uh, uh, I'm anxious. One of my goals as, a, as an elected official is to see an uh, air, uh, airplane manufacturer here in Spokane County. So how does a county commissioner work with other elected officials to get things done? So we, uh, in 2018, created a, a first of its kind public development authority, which is a partnership between the city, the county, and the airport, where we work together uh, to drive economic development. And in the last four years, we've become the fastest growing light industrial area in the state of Washington. We've attracted uh, Amazon and, and a whole litany of other manufacturers. In fact, we just made a deal with Louisiana Pacific for an 80 acre manufacturing facility. So uh, it's very exciting to see all the new jobs. In the last four years, we've attracted almost 7,000 new jobs to Spokane County. So uh, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. This new partnership has created some synergies that uh, uh, give us some additional strength to be able to attract new businesses to the area. So I have a follow-up question to that, Al. So I know we have counties, obviously, all over the state of Washington. I assume you're involved with some kind of county group, or do you, do you all meet as uh, county commissioners statewide to talk about building business here? So uh, I am a member of the uh, Washington State Association of Counties, which is the association that represents all 39 counties. And we work on, on a variety of common issues. And then I also sit on a variety of uh, state uh, agencies representing uh, counties uh, in Eastern Washington or in the state at large. So there's a lot of interaction between the counties and a lot of interaction with our cities. We've got 13 cities inside the county and we have got great relationships and partnerships with each one of them. Hmm. And just out of curiosity then, since we have a little bit of time today, do you end up working with elected officials in other states or do you end up going to Washington, D.C. to work with the federal government? Is that a part of your role? Yes, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's part of my role as a county commissioner. It's also part of my role uh, on some of the agencies that I serve. I'm in D.C. probably six to eight times a year and in Olympia, uh, about every other week. And so we are constantly uh, advocating for uh, the best interests, if not our county, counties in general and stuff. So, you know, and the other thing that I've just recently been appointed to is the NWAC, the Inland Northwest Aerospace Consortium. I've worked in support of their efforts for many, many years, and uh, they just recently created a board position. So I'm anxious to be able to uh, uh, be more actively involved in, in that organization and promote not only aerospace, but advanced manufacturing in the Spokane community. Exactly. That's great. I'm glad that you have joined the board for NWAC. Of course, we're very involved with NWAC as Northwest mm -hmm. Aerospace News, and we have a big yeah. conference coming up in May, the I-90 Aerospace Consortium. So I'm sure that you'll be coming to that as well. Um, so Tell me, Al, what's a bright spot, something that excites you about the region? You know, it's, it's, it's a very unique uh, area in the country. I mean, you can actually, uh, you know, our recreational opportunities are a great asset for the community. You can actually snow ski in the morning and water ski in the afternoon. And I've actually done that in this community. In fact, we have just been designated uh, uh, Sports County USA. So we are a leading uh, county with regard to sports and recreational activities in the country. Uh, but the quality of life here is just outstanding. I, I, uh, I tell people I will die here in Spokane. Some like to think sooner than later, but this is my home. I can't imagine living anywhere else. And there's so much energy going on right now with new businesses that are coming into the area and, uh, you know, they're not only coming here, they're excited to be here. And uh, that creates a whole nother level of synergy that, quite frankly, we haven't seen in Spokane County in a long time. So a lot of good stuff going on right now. 
I would agree with you, Elle. I think we have so many wonderful restaurants joining the area, a lot of new hotels and a lot of new manufacturing businesses as well. And it's just great to see the growth in Spokane and Spokane County. Well, Al, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. We really appreciate your time. Really a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Well, if you are interested in learning more about Al's role as a Spokane County Commissioner, please go to SpokaneCounty.org and you can find out more about the commissioners, their meeting schedules, and more. Until next time, keep on engaging with the manufacturing and aerospace news you need to know in the Northwest with Northwest Aerospace News Magazine. Goodbye.